Hey friends, today I'm going to be doing one of the most memorable characters of all time, Yoda. I love Star Wars and Disney theme puzzles, and this one is a thousand piece from uh, Buffalo's Fine Art Collection. Um, I'm excited to get it started. It actually has a better picture here on the back. Lots of blues and greens, so it should be tricky. Um, I'm going to be doing an unboxing, a time lapse of this puzzle, and stick around for the end for a puzzle review and my tip. Let's get it open. All right, I can already tell this box is going to be tricky. It is pretty well sealed, so wish me luck. Here we go. Urgh, sawing through the sides. All right, four sides. Can I do it? Ah, ta da! Only spilled a couple. All right, packed to the brim. Definitely blues and greens up in here. Here's the puzzle picture and quite a bit of sawdust. But it does come with a beautiful poster, which is great because this picture is a lot bigger than the other one I was working with. Um, these puzzles look cool. I saw right off the bat like a weird zigzaggy one. Let me see if I can find him again. Can't find him, but like most of the pieces look like normal puzzle style pieces. But um, I think there's going to be a few surprise weird shapes in here. Anyway, I'm excited to get this thing started. Let's head to the time lapse. puzzle got finished somehow finally i hope you liked watching the time lapse if you did please be sure to subscribe to the channel because i got tons more um, and more to come this puzzle though won the prize for second hardest puzzle ever second my hardest puzzle ever was a beach puzzle i'll link to it above and this one probably would have been the hardest puzzle 
ever if I hadn't already finished that one because like my hands kind of were like, okay, I already know what to do. Basically, I sort by shape and um, then just resign myself to having to try every single piece. This one was harder in ways I did not expect. I, looking at the picture, I kind of thought I'd be doing a whole bunch of blue and green, but it turns out this chunk of like, not quite black, not quite blue thing, which makes up a lot of the puzzle, um, really took a lot of time. Um, the thing that helped me once I get to that point where like I have to sort by piece is like to try and try and rule out the shapes that have the least amount of items. Like if I have four, like two in, two outs, and I have like 10 of a different shape, I'll use, and it could be either shape, I usually start with the four, um, just cause it feels like a nice little mental boost to be like, oh, well I know it's not that one. So like, it's worth going through all 10 of these pieces cause it's definitely one of them, you know? So that's my tip for this puzzle. Sometimes you just really can't do anything but break it down by shape. Usually I try and like push that moment out as far as I can because I feel like once you go to shape sorting, you can never go back. Anyone else? I do feel pretty good this one's done. Um, not so good that I'm gonna take a break though, so please be sure to catch on over to my next video, which I will start right after this. See you there.